guys, I'm Madeline Harvey, and thank you so much for hanging out with me today. We're going to be talking about the secret to vocal projection. There is a secret. Mm -hmm. So let me start by asking you some questions. When you go to project your voice, do you ever get stuck in a very shouty, a very loud, maybe even a little screamy chest voice? Mm -hmm. Do you ever find your voice flipping into a very diminished, diminished, small, breathy head voice? Mm. Do you feel that your voice is stuck and can't get any louder? Okay, so if you answered yes to any one of these questions, stay tuned. We are going to break vocal projection down for you, and you'll have a better understanding by the end of today's video of what adjustment, what simple little adjustment makes all the difference when it comes to projecting your voice. So if you liked today's video, please be sure to give it a thumbs up or click that subscribe button below. We'd love to see you here more often. So let's, let's, get, let's get mental about this. Let's think about, the, think about the science of it. When we project the voice, or if you've ever heard support your voice, sometimes, we don't know what that means. I'm recalling the seven or eight year old version of me that constantly got that feedback, like sing out, sing out. So in my seven or eight year old mind, I don't know what that means. So I just start screaming and yelling, but on pitch. And people are like, yeah, that's, that's what I want. So I can see how it would get confusing. Fast forward many years later, my mind still thinks, oh, that must be what belting is. I must sort of shout or pull up this feeling of chest voice in order to be really loud. Problem is, my voice got stuck in just loud. I didn't have any control over it dynamically. And oftentimes it would flip into a very small diminished head voice. So what we want to think about is what the body is undergoing when this happens or when projection happens. We have this thing called subglottal pressure. And that's when the diaphragm lifts, it compresses the air in the lungs like an oxygen tank. That's very important to remember. Highly compressed air stays contained in the body. That's the important thing, it stays contained in the body. We don't just brace yourself. We don't go, ah! That's me trying to push all the air out. Right? So that's what a lot of people think is what belting is. And it isn't. It isn't. No, it was loud. It was loud for the sake of being loud. It was just loud. But if I pull it back, I don't have any control over it. So that's what happens when you have only subglottal pressure. You have this feeling of push, 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 up, 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 until you just hit a wall in your voice. Now, the voice cannot sustain that kind of pressure. Eventually, it has to break. And when it breaks, it goes up into head voice. The pressure also goes up into head voice, but it's not pressurized. So it sounds like, ah, ah, right? So what we want to do is get two, two pressures playing with each other. We want subglottal pressure, which goes up. And then there's this other one called supraglottal pressure or back pressure that comes, that pushes to the mask and then comes back and pushes down. When you have equal, opposite reaction, you have bang, bang, pow, right? Beautiful projection, easy projection. The problem is, how do we get there? How do we feel what that coming down is from the head voice? It is rather simple, but so not easy. Let's make a B sound, but don't make the B sound, but hold the B sound like this. Notice how I didn't release any sort of B sound, but I'm prepping for the B. What this does is it creates that pressure up here, that supra glottal pressure. So let's feel that. Here we go, ready? B, but no B. Good, you kind of feel pressure everywhere. Ooh, good, that's, that's good. We wanna prep for that. Okay, one more time, let's try that. 
Good, very good. Now, when you're doing these quick little B compressions, you are reminding your body that this is what you want voice to feel like. You want pressure to be here, you want pressure to be here, like even flowing pressure, of course, and then you want pressure to be here. Now, when we open our mouth, then it's gonna be hard. But let's give this a try. Let's, th let's think H U H, huh. But I want you to think, come down to it. Feel as if you're in head voice and you're, pre you're literally press, 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 push hard into it on H U H. So let's try, let's try, let's try that same D, same D. So if I go, Right, you can feel that pressure press down. And if you've got the pressure in the right spot, it will feel nice and solid. If it's not in the right spot, it'll wobble. Simple, easy peasy, right? That's how you know. So if my pressure is not in the right spot, it wobbles. But if it's in the right spot, it's straight tone, it's projected, it's easy. Okay, now I'm just looking right now at this super glottal pressure. That's what I want you to take from you today. Get the pressure in the right spot, but think, come down to it. That tends to be where most of us are really deficient. My tendency, as I said before, is to pull that chest voice up. So I'm gonna concentrate a little bit more on kind of coming down to it to bring like strength from the head voice, from that pressure going down. We want a up, down, perfect, perfect match so that we get a big projected sound, okay? So let's try this. We're gonna try this on a couple of notes. Let's try it since we are picking on D today. Let's try it. Think H, big ol' H, U, H. So it's just huh, that's the sensation. But I really want you to feel that H. It'll help get the pressure in its right spot so that all you have to do is just exhale, okay? So let's try this a couple times. We'll go ha for eight, I'll snap it out. We'll breathe, ha for eight, I'll snap it out. We're gonna try that two times. Here we go, ready? Again. Good, very good. Now we're just thinking down. You have to keep exhaling to keep this sensation going, but really concentrate on that H, going down from there. Nice. Don't fault yourself if, you're, if your voice is wobbling. This is why we're doing it again. We'll do it twice so you can feel that get the pressure in the right spot. I don't want you to place it in your mind. I just want you to think, exhale on that H. Your voice will we'll put it where it belongs. Here we go, let's try that H again, that C on H. Yeah, I feel that pressure up here. I'm not going, ha! That's just subglottal pressure. How do you know? You can't hear the nose. Ha! Ha! You can hear a lot more of that nose. Ultimately, we want the two to work together, but we've got to work where we're deficient. And for most people, that's the head voice, that pressure coming down. Just a reminder in case you forget. Here we go. Let's try it on B. Nice. It's going to get a little harder. I don't want you to let chest voice have it. There's that B flat. I could go, ha! Not too 
too shabby, right? It's not shabby, but it's not what we're working on. <laughs> it's not what we're working on. We're working on that come down to it. Yes, really challenge yourself to get that pressure in the right spot. Again, H-U-H. Good. Tricky, tricky, tricky. You've got to watch. Don't try to control it, but just observe. In my voice, that A is my nemesis. That's where, again, my chest voice wants to go, ha! But I'm trying to work where I'm deficient, so I'm thinking down, ha! So I can really feel that that spot needs a little more attention. So let's try it again on H-U-H. Feel the pressure coming down from above. On that G, that pressure coming down and pressing out. Yes, yes. Let's try it again. good very good we just did a handful of notes just a quick handful but I want you to feel like what does this supra glottal pressure what is this whole thing about coming down to the note and how can I leverage it it gives the chords a very like a zero gravity experience when when the voice is balanced you may hear me say that a lot the voice needs to be balanced balanced Balanced. That's what gives us power and projection, but no effort. So if you find yourself feeling like there's just a lot of strain in your voice, or there's just a lot of effort in your sound, or you want to make your sound stronger, think about coming down to it on an H-U-H. -H. Intonation is really tricky. That's just how we come into a note. How we pressurize our entry note is how the whole phrase plays out. So the first note is the most important. It sets the tone for the entire phrase until you let it go and you breathe again. Then the process continues. So work on these individual notes. You know where your weak spots are. And I would say work on all the notes, not just your weak spots. But you do know that you will need to give special preferential attention to those weak spots because that's really where we're falling short, where we're deficient in something. So there you have it, guys. That is the secret to vocal projection, is back pressure that comes down from the head voice, the head space. So really concentrate on that press down and out, and you're on your way. If you've liked today's video, then please give it a thumbs up or click that subscribe button below. I'd love to see you here more often. And if you're interested, I did just do an entire live, a full hour, where we worked on this backspace projection idea. So if you are interested in watching that video, then just click the join button below, become a member of this channel. As a member, you'll have exclusive access to all of our lives that we do every Monday and Thursday. And if you're working or you're sleeping, it's okay, it's okay. As a member, you'll also have 
member only access to our whole library of over 100 hours of voice lessons. So be sure to click that join button below, become a member. It's only $4.99 a month. That's US dollar and your contribution helps to support our channel. That way we can continue to deliver awesome content that's just for you. Thank you so much for hanging out with me today and I will see you next time.